Hey everybody, just playing some Darksiders 2 here, and here I have this uh, boss, which I just so happened to randomly find. I was on the way to do a, uh, a quest, and I randomly stumbled upon some dungeon with this guy in it, and I decided to fight him. Then I looked on some forums, and I realized that I should be fighting him at level 12. I've seen some people, uh, some people beat him at level 17, and they say it was really hard, but... I found a really good way to beat him, even though I am only level 12. Uh, it took a lot of time. Here I am doing a uh, voiceover for it. I really just muted the audio to this just because it is a mixture of me yelling at the PC and unloading a sticky mess onto the ceiling whenever I defeat him. So uh, this was a crazy battle, but basically what you want to do here, my character is mainly focused on melee with DPS and also strength. I have a glaive in a secondary uh, weapon slot, and basically what I'm doing is, is that I am taking him uh, from one corner of the area to another. At first I was letting him chase me around the map, which uh, I realized was pretty bad, but I let him back me into a corner, and then I do my dash attack through him, and then you, I use my uh, strong attack, I charge it, and then I hit him with it, and then I jump up, which also chains it together where he does backflip and kicks them, and then in the air, I hold a Y or triangle again and charge that attack up, and then use that again, and then on my way down, I get like a half charge attack on him, and that is pretty much the best way to attack him that I have seen. You know, I've done a lot of other combos and things, and I feel that that really gives me the best... Uh, damage on him, but not only that, I do also have the ability to uh, burn him with that weapon that I'm using as well, so I feel that that might have aided me in doing this. I tried to beat this guy for I don't even know how many hours, endless hours, because uh, if you don't realize how hard this is, if I get hit once from this guy, it's a 90% chance that I'm going to die, and it's pretty tough. So I have to not get hit at all. Occasionally I'll get hit. Like, that was a pretty big hit right there. I just got off uh, 1,800 on him. But, you see, I'm shooting a lot at him. And basically what I'm doing there is just, I'm just tapping the uh, R2 button as fast as I can. Which, uh, the shots don't do too much damage, but they do build up over time. So it's definitely worth it to shoot him. I remember I played against this boss for so long, my hand was all, like, cramped up, and I couldn't really, like, open my hand, it was just all cramped up. So, uh, it put many hours into fighting him. However, I feel that the, uh, the loot that you get is a bit lackluster, I didn't really get anything that great from him. I got one item that was uh, pretty cool, but, uh, other than that, there was really nothing else. But that one item that I got, I can't use it until I'm level 20, so it'll be a while before I'm before I'm able to use it. But, uh, I'm really happy that I was able to defeat him just because uh, just strategy alone, really. I could have, I think that I could have possibly been a level 10 or level 7, possibly even a level 5 and beat him. It would have taken a lot longer, but I really like to try and fight him with a weaker character. See, I almost died right there. One issue that I had with this was that when I was doing this whole backflip thing to get away, is that sometimes I wouldn't flip in the right direction that I wanted to, and that cost me uh, the game a few different times. Because yeah, whenever he hits you, he will actually freeze you, and that will instantly kill you because it gives 175 HP per tick, and it ticks like 2 or 3 times a second, so it pretty much just instantly kills me. And also, one great thing about shooting is that it uh, regens your uh, your your rage section, your rage bar, so you can do your dash attack, because that dash attack is really what keeps you alive in this game. I mean, in this boss battle. Because whenever he's coming at you, you can just dash at him and then come out the other side. Pretty difficult boss. I would have to say these are the most difficult boss that I've fought so far in the game. Probably because he's way too strong for me. There were a couple times when I would get him down to one hit and then he would do that cyclone attack at me and there's nothing I can do and I end up dying. I'm actually saving my uh, demonic form or whatever that form is called for last. 
that's like a last ditch effort just in case I run out of potions, just in case I'm low on HP, you know, I can use that. I'm pretty much doing that same combo over and over to him, and it's doing a decent amount of damage. Here, I'm just tearing him up with my uh, true form. And also, one thing you have to be aware of whenever you're shooting a lot, of course, this is probably common knowledge to anybody watching this video who plays Dark Siders, but if you run completely out of bullets, it takes you longer to uh, reload. So it's better to just fire down to one. But they are really great for extending your combos. This is just about over. I think I can kill him right here. Yep. Like right there, I just like, <laughs> I just sit there and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm just so excited. Having a little celebration. <laughs> I don't even, I could not even tell you how many times I died while fighting him. Now let's take a look at the gear. That's pretty good. It's for gold farming, really. So that's, that's pretty good. I don't, I don't really need too much gold because I'm doing well right now. And I'm not really a caster, so that's useless also to me. What's in here is some pretty decent stuff, but the best part is, is that item that I already picked up from them. That's pretty good. I think I actually switched to that after uh, after I uh, exited this video, because it does give you a lot of strength. Less crit, but more strength. And then I did switch to that. Those look really nice. I like how they glow. Anyways, let's take a look at my stats. You can see that I'm level, I'm level 12. Um, Okay, there we go. Level. Okay, I keep moving around. You can also take a look at my uh, my talents from there. You can pause it if you want. Take a look at my talents. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. And I'll see you later.